before we begin the video please let me know how is the audio are you able to hear it clearly does this sound like a podcast please let me know so today's topic is a very interesting topic because today we are going to talk on 2024 and career what are some of the areas where you can make money in 2024 is just five to six to seven days away it's christmas today and what a topic we have selected today <laughs> it's career wealth money and 2024 all right so now why am i making this video not to tell you that you need to go to these professions no i'm not saying that i am not telling you to do that 100 percent. but what i'm trying to tell you today is that irrespective of whichever profession or career you are if you get a chance to work in these industries or do something related to these industries directly or indirectly it will be excellent for you all right so now what is 2024 2024 as you know is number eight two plus two plus four is number eight and eight in numerology is the number of saturn so i already made a video on 2024 where i said that there could be some delays disappointments and setbacks some reversals but that is a very generic thing you know at the end it depends on what happens in your mahadasha antardasha all right so do not take that uh, into isolation so therefore apart from the year of saturn what are some of the areas where we could enter so that we can actually make good profits not just at a monetary level but also at a networking level all right so these are some areas that we are going to discuss today so the first area is actually real estate there will be a real estate boom in this year 2024 now why do i say this because saturn in astrology is the karaka for real estate there are two karakas actually there are many not just two saturn and mars are primarily the indicators of property right uh, but they are also the karaka for land uh buildings uh, and mercury if it's associated then it can show commercial property uh the other planets can show uh residential buildings all right so therefore if you are planning to uh, take some land or uh, buy some house or uh, get some commercial space for you for yourself then maybe uh you need to thing because it can be a bit expensive and at the same time uh, if you want to sell something uh, this is the best time to actually sell all right now i'm not saying you cannot buy but uh, you need to be aware that uh, prices can shoot up now why do i say this i can already see this happening now why do i say this because as you know uh, for real estate uh, the federal reserve of the usa they they actually control uh, everything that you see in this world right from an economic perspective not just economy but they had increased the interest rates so when in interest rates are higher people don't borrow money right to buy houses so now the federal reserve will start cutting down interest rates okay so from the first quarter hopefully of 2024 so i'm already seeing so many people they are enthusiastic because of this they are inquisitive and they want to go into real estate they want to buy so therefore if you can somehow uh, quickly sneak in if you want to buy something maybe first quarter is the best period because now the prices have not risen so much okay so if, if you want to buy then uh, it's the best time because <laughs> you can buy and you can hold it you know for some years and by the end of 2024 you will see that there is massive appreciation and if you are not having money to buy uh, land or to buy real estate then you can also invest into real estate investment trusts reits this is one thing you can do and this is also really related to real estate it is like uh, not literally like but somewhat like buying stocks of a company okay not literally they give you uh, I, I won't go into reit but for a layman it's like that okay uh, again not literally but just to understand you can buy like you know fractions okay so you can do more research on reits uh, if you cannot uh, go into real estate investment directly you don't like the hassle of you know all this um, middleman and all this you know so 
uh, you can try REIT also. I do not have any recommendation. I am not a financial advisor, but uh, as somebody who is aware of astrology, I'm just trying to share some uh, important insights, all right? So, and for those who have Mercury Dasha, so if you have Mercury Mahadasha or Mercury Antar Dasha, then maybe it's a good time for you to buy commercial real estate, all right? Of course, this will only be possible if you have the combination for buying property in your Mahadasha or Antar Dasha. Otherwise, just because if you have Mercury Dasha, it does not mean you will just go around buying things, all right? Uh, so apart from that, if you have like a Venus Dasha and you have some Dasha like Saturn, Mars along with it. So like Venus, uh, Saturn or Saturn, uh, Saturn, Venus, you know, Mars, Venus, Venus, Mars, something like that. Then you could also venture into um, decoration and all this, you know, like uh, interior design within real estate. Okay, so that is also one area which you can uh, actually try to capitalize. So depending on your dashas, it will be decided what is that which you can capitalize. Okay, so it's very important. Look at your dashas. I'm telling you again and again and again. And then the second area which you can move into is technology. Why do I say technology? Because 2024 has the number four. Four in numerology is the number of Rahu. And four is related to technology. Four is the prime number of technology in numerology. Okay. Four and seven. So this year, 2023, if you add up, it is seven. And what happened in January this year or December last year, you know, around January, I remember I was uh, in Pune in December last year. And then suddenly this chat GPT had come up. Right, everybody I hope knows what chat GPT is. So in numerology four and seven they show technology. Okay, now it's not just technology, it is some technology which is very new, you know, like uh, which which can be used like generative AI and all this. So, so if you're planning to learn something related to gen AI or uh, anything to do with cloud, you know, of course, cloud is not very new, but the cloud is like advancing very fast, you know, so then it's a great time, you know, to learn machine learning, AI and all this, I mean, uh, programming language, fantastic, all right? So, as I said, if you are not directly involved, if you are a chartered accountant, how can you utilize this? You know, maybe you can try to get some clients who are in the technology sector, so you will have good, because now you should capitalize the opportunity or if you are a chartered accountant, you should try to use AI and different technologies for uh, your profession, uh, for uh, doing your accounts, filing the income tax returns of people. You know, that that will be very good. And then there's the, the third sector. So the third sector is actually hospitality sector. Why do I say this? Because there are number, there are number two is there two times, you know, 2024. And number two in numerology is actually the number of hospitality. It is the number of emotions. Uh, it's the number of like food. Uh, not very exotic cuisines. That is primarily number six, which is Venus. But two in general is, you know, uh, inviting people to your home, uh, then feeding them, uh, giving gifts. You know, it's like uh, good heart-to-heart -heart connections, okay? So... If you have a plan to do some uh, business in your home related to restaurants, you know, like start a home kitchen or uh, start a food delivery app or something like that, you know, I mean, not literally the app, but you register there yourself as a freelancer and you make something and you sell it to others. Or uh, you also have to, uh, you, you, you can also invest in things like cloud kitchen and all this, okay? So... Uh, these companies which are making cloud kitchens, you know, if you can somehow invest there, that could also be very good. And also, uh, if possible, if you want to invest into some other company, now this is also related to real estate because hospitality is always done uh, physically in some place, right? So there could be some projects which are related, like some REITs, like REITs, as I said, for real estate, uh, which which could also be catering to hospitality sector, which collects rents from hotels and all this. And also, you could try to somehow <coughs> combine them and you can see how things work for you, all right? So apart from this, uh, number four, uh, this is again related to AI and technology, uh, but this is the sector of cryptocurrency. So 
uh, as you can see, like uh, the cryptocurrency and all this, because the interest rates are going to be slashed by the first quarter of 2024, uh, these cryptocurrencies uh, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, they are also rising gradually. You can see that. All right. So if you are into IT, you can try to uh, go and get some projects in blockchain domain or you can learn blockchain technologies, you know, or if you have already learned blockchain, it's the best time to apply for some <laughs> Uh, good job in the blockchain uh, companies in the, some of these sectors. Uh, this will give you very high exponential gains, okay? And of course, if you want to invest money, you know, in like Bitcoin or Ethereum, you know, if you have money which you have like, uh, which you can set aside, if you can forget it, maybe uh, you can see, you can talk to your financial advisor and if you can plan and invest, maybe it could be good for you. But again, uh, this is not financial advice, please. A disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Please contact your financial advisor and planner and um, invest uh, with doing your due diligence, all right? So just because I'm saying something, just don't go and invest. Uh, this is not just for investment purposes. Uh, this is also to go into that sector altogether, all right? And of course, at the end, uh, what is very important for us to know is every country may have these things but in a different proportion which means every country may have certain things of these areas which i've mentioned but uh, in a different uh, zone in a different quantity in a different quality okay like for example uh, for india uh, like uh, there's this general election for 2024 as you know i guess the results will be out in may you know, second or third week or fourth week around that time so uh, if Modi ji, uh, Sri Narendra Modi ji, if he wins the elections, so this is what I am hearing from the people uh, in the metro cities, you know, some people who are connected to real estate, they have told me that if Modi ji wins the election, then there will be a big boost in the real estate sector in entire India, you know, around by 15 to 20 percent, suddenly prices may jump, all right? So now, of course, if he doesn't win, then somebody else will uh, be India's Prime Minister and then I have to see that person's chart to tell you what will happen if this person wins or loses. Uh, but because I do not see that the opposition has a fixed uh, candidate for becoming the Prime Minister, so nobody knows uh, who will be the Prime Minister. Of course, the Congress has declared Kargeji as their candidate, I guess. Uh, in my limited knowledge, I don't know if he's the prime ministerial candidate or he's like the declared as the leader of the party or something like that. But time will tell if he actually becomes the prime minister if Congress wins. All right. And of course, I am yet to make the video for 2024 elections in India. Uh, I was waiting for this uh, camera and this microphone and all this. Some other settings are to be done. And once they are done, we can, I will go ahead and shoot the video, all right? So, therefore, let's give a quick recap. Real estate, land, commercial, residential, mercury, commercial, then uh, a Venus, then uh, interior design and all this, then technology, AI, then hospitality, home kitchen, cloud kitchen, also REITs included with real estate, and then cryptocurrency, but with due diligence and discussion, with your uh, financial advisor and then in case of india if modi ji wins then big boost in real estate all right this is what is my uh, knowledge and my opinion and my understanding uh, but don't take this as an absolute guidance to invest all your money into some one particular asset if you do that and you lose money i do not claim any responsibility it is your job to protect your wealth and your assets all right and at the end do not forget it will depend on your Mahadasha, Antardasha. I am saying this again for the fifth time maybe because people, they don't see their Mahadasha, Antardasha. They don't analyze their chart and without doing that, they are just going on you know, asking for predictions. You know, what will happen? This planet is here, that planet is here. Well, you need to check the overall chart and only then you can make some predictions. Otherwise, uh, everything is just like a bad guess. Okay, at best, it will be correct by 5 to 10 percent and you will be disappointed at the end. So, please do a comprehensive analysis of your chart yourself or go to an astrologer who can do that for you. All right. So, thank you very much for your patience. And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please 
subscribe to it and if you like this video please hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to make money in 2024 and god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him and at the end if you want a consultation you can always go to my website down in the description section and i hope at the end the audio was better please give me your feedback down in the comments thank you so much merry christmas and a very happy new year in advance all right jai shri ram